This is a story about monkey torture. How do you explain it? Where do you begin? For me, it began with Mimi. She'd been taken from her mother in the forest and then sold as a pet to a YouTuber. She became a kind of celebrity in a dark and twisted online community. Mini is artist in my YouTube. What do you want Mini to do? The people who wanted to do something to Mini, who were willing to pay to see her suffer, were on the other side of the world. Mini was so popular in, in this hatred world, so to speak. You think old movie stars, oh, Marilyn Monroe, in this little demented circle of ours, that was Minnie. And Minnie was just one of thousands of monkeys being abused and filmed for YouTube. We're not going to show you the graphic videos of what Minnie and the other monkeys went through. Why is nobody stopping this? It's obscene. I too became obsessed with stopping it and we're trying to find Minnie and freeing her. I don't know if anybody would ever be ready for a crime like this, because this is going to be a, a shocker. This is my favorite place in LA because I can come here to see the monkeys. It's hard to imagine the world that I've discovered of people that actually hate them. During the pandemic, Lucy was spending a lot of time on YouTube. All of a sudden, pet monkeys started coming up in the feed. Once I clicked on that, that's when the abusive video started popping up in my feed. That's Minnie right there. Yes. And he's attempting to tie her to the cage. Minnie resists. She's locked up and forced to watch. He took the um, other monkey. Now he's going to do the candle wax on him. <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. I worked in the sex industry. I totally can identify the sexual abuse with the candle wax, the restraining, the type of beatings. It's disturbing watching somebody do that to an infant monkey. The comments under the video were equally shocking. Lucy was witnessing the forming of a dark global community of monkey haters. She decided to set up her own YouTube channel to expose the abuse. Lucy called on her followers to report the videos for breaking YouTube guidelines. YouTube has a huge responsibility for all of this because they allow these videos to be uploaded. There are loads of videos of Minnie being abused. And in some of them, you hear a male voice. You are this in YouTube, but it's nothing to me. Mm. OK, bro, he's got monkey Minnie. They call him OK, bro, because all he says is OK, bro. OK, bro. In the description of his videos is a link to his private account on the messaging app Telegram. I'll show you some of the videos we've got. Mm -hmm. So this is her when she was very little. My colleague, mm -hmm. an undercover reporter I'm calling Steve, is going to help track down Minnie. Posing as a potential buyer, he contacts OK Bro on Telegram. A few weeks later, they have a video call. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Is that Minnie? That's my monkey. So, bro, I can come to see them. Yes, bro. Let me see you. That's me. <laughs> I finally yeah. see you. What does it look like outside? Oh, you want, you want to see? Yeah. Maybe? This is my car. 
I buy my car uh, from uh, making videos. Wow. And where do you live? I live in uh, Mertoyudan, Felix. Wow. So we now know where Mini is. It's just outside the city of Madalang, in Java, in Indonesia. A few months after setting up her channel, Lucy gets an email from a guy calling himself the Torture King. Torture King had a few channels with the monkey torture videos on YouTube. He tells Lucy he's been watching her videos and now realizes what he's doing is wrong. Then he suggested that I create a account on Telegram and he would get me into the group. A private group where more extreme videos are being bought and traded. With access into the groups, Lucy is starting to understand how this dark community works. Once they find a video operator, like Mini's owner in Indonesia, they brainstorm torture ideas. Then raise funds to make it happen. Whatever scenario they paid for, then that's what's gonna happen to that monkey. Torture King then agrees to meet me. Welcome to my home. This is my man cave, where I come to reflect, gather my thoughts. He was a member of one of America's most feared biker gangs and has served jail time. Basically, uh, during the pandemic, obviously, everybody had time on their hands. I came across a random video of a monkey being teased with a baby bottle. And that was Minnie. I don't look at myself as a sick or demented person, but I couldn't pull out of it. In fact, he started his own Telegram group and began dealing in monkey torture videos. Every video that popped up, I clicked it, put it in a file. Why? Because every file came with a dollar sign to me. How big do you think this community is? I saw some groups that had thousands of people in the group. In my group, it was probably about 50% overseas, Australia, Britain, China, Japan. Did you think about the monkeys, the pain? Not at that point. Um, all I thought about at that point was money. In Torture King's Telegram group, Lucy has been quietly collecting information. Now Torture King's about to make a bold move to help expose the identities of the members. Well, I said, look, we're a family here. Click, this is me. This is who I am. This is my Harley that I ride, and I got no secrets. They, they just start dropping pictures, and you know, the military guy, he was dropping his rank. I'm like, God damn, dude, you can't get yourself in trouble here. And before you know it, I had like 50 photos and information. I'm like, dude, wow, dude, that was easy. Grandmothers, fathers, mothers, a teacher, a chemist, nurse. You would never guess that they were involved in something like this because they look like normal people. Steve, our undercover reporter, has made it to Indonesia and is on his way to meet Mini's owner, OK Bro. My bro! Finally! How are you? What's up, bro? Really good to see you. <laughs> you want to see the Mini? Yeah. Wow! This is Mini? Yes, yes, yes. You know, I have uh, the, the 20 more and they are gone. Oh, no. When you, you hit them, yes, yes, huh? do, you, do you like? Yes, 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 I hit, if I very, very angry, I 
boom, and wow. I don't know why. In my in my song, you're like, oh, I saw. Oh. <laughs> Can I take a photo? Video is okay, bro. Wow. Cool. <laughs> okay, bro. I will call you later, and we meet up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bro. You got See you. Now we're certain about where Minnie is. We tip off the local police. After some convincing, they say they'll look into it. The actions of Torture King have come to the attention of Homeland Security. So we obtained a search warrant for my target here in Virginia and executed that and interviewed him. They're now building a criminal case against Torture King and anyone who paid him. And this clearly breaks laws here in the US. Correct, it's 18 USC 48, which is essentially the torture and killing of animals. As far as a penalty, it's up to seven years. I'm confident based on the evidence that we'll have will result in a conviction. The, the challenge is nobody's done it, not for this type of uh, specific uh, torture of monkeys. This is a first. Torture King knows he could be arrested any day. Yeah, I profited from it. I made money redistributing images and footage that was obtained through YouTube and Telegram. You ran one of the biggest groups in this community. Correct. I'm not proud of that. It's no different than drug money. Drug money comes from dirty hands. Well, this money comes from bloody hands as well. When you wake up and realize that, it really messes with you a lot. Ajang, our producer in Indonesia, suddenly gets news about Mini's owner, OK Bro. I just got a phone call from the police. They say that they have already arrested him this morning. When Ajang arrives, OK Bro is being questioned. And in the corner is Mini and another younger monkey we're calling Milo. They look very afraid. Maybe they're confused because there's a lot of people here and this is a new environment. But at least now they are safe. Minnie and Milo will be taken to a rescue centre. OK Bro is charged with animal cruelty and released on bail. Back at his house, he tells us he started his channel after becoming a father. His son is the same age as Mini. Ini oh banyak yang apa komen-komen pengen bro kalau aku pengen kontak nomormu ini orang luar semua ya mbak nggak ada yang orang Indonesia nggak ada sih. We tell him that Mini is now being taken to a sanctuary. Lucy's efforts to get the monkey torture videos taken down aren't going well. They're still being posted, and YouTube has shut down her channel. Every time the community of monkey haters got a notification that I had uploaded a video, then they all got together like, OK, let's go report Mad Monkey Mayhem. It makes me more motivated. It's gone, so I'll just start another one. And I'll continue to do that until something is done. Four months after Minnie was rescued, Ajang and I are going to see her and Milo at a sanctuary. Ini Mini. Ya, di sini Mini sekarang sedang proses sosialisasi. Mini. Hey, Mini. 
<laughs> that's amazing. She's so different from the monkey that we saw in the police station. Surprisingly calm and, and not scared of humans. <laughs> Dulu giginya hancur dan dan sekarang sudah uh, bagus karena ini proses penyembuhan juga dan tumbuh gigi baru. Oh, beautiful. Sorry for what you've been through. Dan ini masih proses sosialisasi dengan monyet-monyet lainnya yang seumuran dan mungkin dua atau tiga tahun kita bisa lepas liarkan lagi. Luar biasa, mini bisa kembali ke alam.